I'm no longer arguing with you about the merits of Brexit. I'm arguing with you about democracy, about the right of the majority to have their decision, their vote implemented. I'm going to read you something before I say goodbye to you. We lost almost 50 years, almost 50 years without a say, without a vote, says a correspondent. My entire life has been spent in the year EEC, EU, against my will. Nobody ever said times have changed. Nobody ever said they didn't know what they were voting for. Nobody ever said this is a constitutional outrage. They pushed further, decade after decade, treaty after treaty, against my will, in my name, without my say, not one solitary vote. He goes on, I got my single vote. After a lifetime, I saw the banks, the government, the foreign leaders, the universities, the unions, the businesses, the corporations, the talking heads, the papers, the news readers, the stars, I saw them all lined up against me. I had nothing but a single vote. They have power, almost unrestrained, definitely immoral, absolutely ruthless power. They used my taxes to lie. They took my money and that of people like me. They told me I was stupid ignorant, racist. They promised if we Brexit, there'll be hellfire and damnation. But I trudged forward through the sneers and insults. I am a nobody, but I have a vote. I cast my vote, never expecting to win. But he did win, Michael, and he will not accept the Parliament stealing his vote from him. Michael, thanks for... I, I just think as well that there seems to be a crisis of national confidence in this country, and I can't work out why. Okay, it's all very well and good, and you have the Bank of England and people like that coming out with these disaster forecasts, right? They know which side their bread is buttered, and there's a reason behind that kind of thing. But just have a look at Britain. Have a walk around. Meet people. I've got confidence in this country. I've got great confidence in this country. And that is based on historical... Uh, tangible facts, right? And there's nothing that's going to change that. London is still going to be a major draw to absolutely everyone. Our economy is still going to do all right. In fact, you can argue it's going to be better because we can reshape it. What is so wrong now with actually believing in Britain? Let's hear from Lewis in 